before I start um, narrating the script, I just wanted to say I am actually locked inside of CT Coaster's closet right now. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adrenaline Central, then I will be unlocked from Redden's closet because he's holding me hostage right now. And he's making me record this video because his voice is bad and mine is good. So, um, yeah, if you subscribe, yeah. From the manufacturer who dominates the hyper coaster market for some reason comes a coaster with so much airtime, it will leave you shocked. Behemoth. Oh, wait, wrong hyper? Oh, my bad. Comes a coaster with so much airtime, it will leave you shocked. Goliath. Oh, wait, wrong one again. Sorry, I'll get it right this time. Comes a coaster with so much airtime, it will leave you shocked. Nitro. Wait. Nitro? Really? Airtime? Are you serious? This must be wrong. You're saying that Nitro has airtime? Well, boy, have you been mistaken. That's right. If you thought I was going to wait more than 30 seconds to talk about how forceless this coaster is, then you're wrong. You've been on other b &M hypers with great airtime, like this one, this one, but not that one, and this one, and this one, but not that one. Oh yeah, and especially not that one. I mean, I respect the layout and stuff. Look, it's full of hills. We How fun. Look, at any other park... This would be pretty good, but you guys had to put it at one of the best Six Flags parks. You know where Nitro would be a great fit? Any park other than Six Flags Great Adventure. Look, there's a coaster half of its size right next to it that pulls more force than this thing. In fact, screw it, nearly every coaster at this park pulls more force than this thing. I mean, if you want to ride a coaster with airtime, go to El Toro. Of course, that's not a big deal though, only top 5 in the world. I love Nitro, it's awesome. What do you like about it? Nitro is really good. Do you care to be more specific? No. Okay, but what's on your shirt? Oh, oh, this is El Toro. It's best ride in the park. It's so much better than Nitro. It's way better. Maybe. This is why Nitro's line is always so short. Because it's just not good. Or at least because of those amazing ops. You know what? Maybe they should move those operators to El Toro. Because the last time I checked, sending out every other train with two people in it isn't good. Look, I love El Toro as much as the next guy. But maybe even a little bit more. That ride could use some better ops. Enter Nitro's line and Meyer's extensive theming, which is sure to impress even the most European coaster enthusiasts. Begin your ride on Nitro by taking a slow bank turn out of the station into a 230 foot tall lift hill. Gaze at your surroundings which include trees. How pleasant. I mean, at least it's not a parking lot. Plummet down the massive drop that you wish was good, but sadly isn't. Soar up into a turn that looks like it should deliver really good airtime, but achieve nothing. Remember though, this is Nitro that we're talking about, so what do you expect? Hey Trim, then fly up over an airtime hill that will send you flying out of your seat. If it was on Mako. After this, go through a hammerhead turn that's only purpose is to look cool. I'm serious, this looks sick. I just wish it was as good as it looked. Fly up into another hill that I'm not going to call an airtime hill, because that would just be false. That pretty much just goes for the rest of the layout too. Super intense helix? Nah. Airtime hill finale? Nah. Super long break run? Well, yeah. You know it would be great? If they removed Nitro and put in an Intamin prefab. Uh, okay. You know, now that I think about it, why even ride Nitro? I mean, before Skyrush, it was the only hyper coaster in that area, but now you can take the hour drive to a park with two really good hypers instead of one bad one. No hate on Great Adventure, you know, Con Toro. But if you're here for a hyper, this just isn't the place. Look on the bright side, at least Great Adventure has a hyper. That's exactly the problem. They have a hyper, but it's just not good. You know what would be a great idea? Remove Nitro and put in an Intamin Stratocoaster. Uh, nope. Try again. Soar into the most forceful part of the ride and get pushed forwards a tiny bit 
as a mid-course brake run takes all of your precious speed. Drop off the mid-course and enter a series of small hills that achieve nothing. And I mean nothing. Look, I know the jokes about Nitro having no airtime or getting old, but come on, it's funny. I mean, just look at this layout. Give it some airtime and make that he looks intense, and you have an awesome coaster. But no, instead, it has a forceless helix and a bunch of hills with no airtime. Kind of sad when you think about it. Should have gotten a good B and M. Yeah, they really should have. Ooh, you know what would be a really, really good idea? If they remove nitro and put in a B and M invert. As cool as that would be, do you not see the literal invert right next to nitro? Kind of funny that that little thing is better than the 230 foot hyper coaster right next to it. Hey, at least nitro isn't a Vacoma, am I right? Hey, let me in. Uh. I meant to say, I love Vacoma, and I would love it if Nitro was made by Vacoma. Oh, you know it would be amazing if they removed Nitro and put in an RMC Raptor. Okay, buddy. There's another problem with this ride. It will soon be overshadowed by this beautiful, stunning, gorgeous work of art by RMC. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, that's enough something for today. What are we talking about again? Nitro. Oh, yeah, that ride. The one with the theming in the really good airtime, right? Just talking about is boring, honestly. They should remove Nitro and put in a B&M hyper. Oh my god, can you please shut up?